to unbox the Wagner Flexio. Uh, I, as you can see, I'm on my deck, uh, sanded it, getting ready to spray a, a stain sealer. Uh, it's actually a non-transparent sealer, so uh, it's pretty thick. So I'm kind of curious how this will do because on here it says, you know, you can paint walls in five minutes and deck in two minutes. So, but uh, like I said, this is the Wagner Flexio. It's the model 4000. Uh, <clears throat> everybody says that it has a better, uh, like less fatigue because the power unit is off, off of a hose. So we're going to do a quick unboxing today, and I'm going to uh, unbox it, assemble it, and then do like a time lapse on how to use it. So I'm going to rate everything in beers. So like, for instance, this is probably unboxing and putting it together. It's probably a half a beer. That's what it would take. So. We'll just go ahead and crack one open and go on to it. All right. Instructions. Shows you how to do the air cap. Material flow, power. We'll go through this right here in a second. So it comes with a uh, pretty nice case. I guess this is one part of the wand holder. There's the second one. Uh, one thing they did say about this, this must be the detail one because it's so small. But one thing they did say with these that it literally takes five minutes to clean them. So there's this and this. Let's go ahead and set this back here. So I'm curious how long this uh, wand is, or this hose is. See how much working room. So I almost have a six foot reach. So, looks to be probably 13, 14 feet long maybe. Let's see. It says a 15 foot flex hose. So you got a 30 foot work area if you're working in a circle, I guess. Here's the actual unit itself. Has a nice filter on each side, it looks like. Which is probably going to be one of the things that you're going to have to replace every so often. On off button. Here's your flow control. So let's uh, open up the instructions and put it together. Oh, look at that little paint strainer bag. So it has a free one year extended warranty. Uh, I got this at Lowe's. Uh, it was $199. Uh, I didn't want like one of the all in ones cause I've had those before and they clog up, they're noisy. Uh, but this thing uh, said you could spray anything through it. Paint, stain, you know, whatever you want and you didn't have to thin it because some of the other ones you actually have to thin them out. So it shows you kind of a masking guide. Here's the actual instruction booklet. Maintenance, cleaning, stir. Shows you which way to 
pour everything in and set the nozzle and everything. So I guess we'll start with the hose first. That was hard. Like I said, this is going to be a maybe a half of a beer put together. So I'm probably going to do the rails first. I don't want a lot of overspray. So I'm probably going to start with this one first. And if you can see right here, it has a little lock. So basically it just goes in. There's a unlock and a lock and it just slides right in. So that's that's pretty simple. And then you also have a flow control on so it just uses basically like a plastic stopper so you can't pull it back as far. So that's pretty neat. So I guess, you know, that's pretty much it with it. We'll go ahead and fill it up with paint and I want to give a quick uh, shout out to my friend Joe Loniker. I will put a link to his uh, channel on this because he's actually doing a secondary film for me. So let's try it out. I sprayed two uh, 20 ounces of this. Let me turn this off for a second. And uh, this is the detailed sprayer. This paint, well, the stain I'm using is kind of thick. So, I mean, it, it covered well, but I just don't think I'm getting the volume of paint I needed out of this one. So we're going to switch to the, uh, to the bigger one. So I was just going to do a quick, let's see how easy it is to clean because, you know, they said like a five minute cleanup because the old ones you had to take everything apart and put a, a nozzle through there so you can undo everything so basically there's your what turns your tip there's just the cap which it's not dirty and then here's your actual tip and then you pull it out and there's all your paint so We'll go ahead and start rinsing this guy out. Of course, it's like a spoon when you put a little water in it, it just sprays wherever it wants to go. <laughs> so it's all clean on that, so that was easy. So I want to open this up and Start letting this fill up. So I'm hoping what happens is when I rub this off is that when I can do so, I want to turn this water pressure down a little bit. And if it does what I think it does, it should. No. Nope. So I was hoping it would just go through and push all this paint out that's in this tip. So if you can see through there, it's just a, a knob. So I don't know if when you pull it back, see it moves the valve to let paint by. So it's a spear and then it goes into like a rectangle in there. So maybe it didn't go out of there because I didn't have the trigger pulled. So hard to get this angle. Yep, so if you pull the trigger, it runs the paint through the tube and out the front. So I'll finish cleaning this out and then I'll let it run until it runs clear. Uh, this is a water-based paint or stain that I'm using so it actually works both ways if you run it down the front you can see it's coming out the back side and like I said I'll run it till it runs clear 
And then I'll make sure I clean the sink real well because, you know, we don't want our wives all mad at us. So it's pretty, it's pretty clear coming out. Looks like it's got a little aeration in it, so I'll just make sure she's good and clean, run it both ways before I finish. So I'm pretty happy with how easy that was to clean. Now I'm wondering, okay, here we go. So this tube actually pulls out and it's got like a little piece of like I wouldn't say it's rubber, it's almost like the styrofoam, like an egg carton, but a little bit more flexible. So, that makes it a little bit easier than trying to hit that. Run this through one more time. So all in all, I don't know what time we started this, but we're at four minutes now. And maybe if I wasn't talking and playing around and trying to figure it out the first time, I could have probably been done in five minutes. Or if I would have read the instructions, they would have probably told you all this stuff. <laughs> but who reads instructions? We have YouTube for instructional videos. But whatever they used in this uh, container, it actually, uh, the paint comes off of it fairly easy. Or the stain. I keep wanting to call it paint because it's so thick. It's a stain and sealer in one. So please excuse my slip of the tongue because stain is like water and this stuff is like paint. So there we go. This is all done. So it might be a five minute cleanup. But then you got 10 minutes of cleaning up the sink because you don't want your wife to get mad at you. <laughs> Especially a black sink. All right, so first impressions. Um, uh, this stain is really thick, so it's like a paint. So with the, uh, with the small one, I don't think I had enough flow. It did a really good job but I'm going to step it up to the bigger one that way I can uh, you can adjust your flow control here and it's got different settings here on how far the trigger goes back so also when we were unboxing earlier I just threw these plastic bags to the side because I didn't look at the instructions but these are actually bags that go inside so when you're done you can actually squeeze all the paint back into your uh, gallon jug or whatever you're doing so you know that's kind of handy I had, did not price these out so I will actually look on uh, Lowe's site or Wagner site to see uh, how much these are I think they came in what a two pack so they came with two in it so I can probably use one today and then I got all my stuff over there so once this dries and I can bring it over back over to here so but first impressions, this did okay. Uh, it did say something in the instructions about you can thin this paint or this stain. So maybe if I would have tried that, it would have worked a little bit better. Um, I mean, I did get really good coverage, but I kind of had to go a little bit slower. So we'll try this again. I'll set up another time lapse and take some photos while I'm doing it and we'll see what this one does.
All right, so here's a before, a during, and here's the after coming right up. All right, let's get into pros and cons about this unit. Uh, pros, it's very lightweight. Uh, I actually enjoyed spraying with the uh, heavier uh, 45 ounce one. Uh, I felt like I had a little bit more control and uh, volume control. Uh, if I would have thinned out the paint or stain a little bit, I think it would have flowed better out of the fine uh, detailed sprayer. But uh, all in all, I was very happy with this unit. Uh, actually, the cleanup is very easy, like they say, a little five minute cleanup. Uh, so, as you saw in part of this video, uh, I got done spraying so I did a more detailed cleanup and it probably took about 10 minutes there's some nooks and crannies on the uh, sprayer itself that uh, took a little time uh, if you notice here it says accessories all fit in the bag uh, and the accessories do fit in the bag but the unit and the accessories does not so that's kind of a con but you know it is what it is the amount you're going to use this you put it up on a shelf somewhere and it's not going to take up very much real estate so all in all i would give this probably about a 90 percent uh if i would buy it again uh, at the price point of 199 dollars without stepping up to a more commercial unit so you know hopefully this uh information works for you and let me know down in the comments what you think thanks